I got pepper soup with goat meat and chicken. There goes my fufu, guys. Oh, I'm gonna try this. I've been craving it, y'all. Good morning, everybody. This is the next day. Um, I wanted to try out the food last night, and I meant to give you guys a review on what it tasted like, but honestly, I had family time, and I got tired, and I went to sleep. So, honestly, I had the fufu and the pepper soup. So, my pepper soup was supposed to have chicken and goat meat, but it only had the goat meat for one. Let's start there. Um, and I don't know. I think I was expecting way more flavor, especially the way that it was raved about. Truth be told, I am one of those people that I will crave things. Sorry if you guys hear a toy. Name's right here. Hi. Hi. But um, I'm one of those people that I will crave something I've never had. And I've been craving like fufu and negusi, but you know, they only have pepper soup at this specific restaurant. So let me go ahead and disclaimer say this though, just because I didn't really care for it here. And I'm gonna tell you why I didn't really care for it here. Um, does not mean I won't try it again somewhere else. So I went to a place called a Anav Navrin. An Lorm, no, Lorm, Lorm Nava, Lorm Na, look, something like that. Lorm Nava, I think that's what it was. And um, I got their fufu and pepper soup, like I said. And I feel like the flavor was just not there. It wasn't bad. It wasn't disgusting or nothing like that. To me, honestly, fufu tastes like and has the consistency of like mashed potatoes and the flavor of it too. Just season like it is there's no season and then for the pepper soup it was a little it was supposed to be spicy it's supposed to have the chicken and the goat but they only gave me like three what it seemed like goat knuckles and i was like well geez you know i've had curry goat so i know i like goat but in this specific instance there was just it wasn't the flavor wasn't hitting the way i thought it was gonna hit i'm gonna definitely try it again somewhere else they had another restaurant somewhere like norfolk so i was gonna try that one out there but Truth be told, it wasn't bad. I'm honestly, I would give it like a a four out of ten, only because I expected more flavor, like a flavor bomb. I didn't get my chicken in there, and it just it didn't give me what I thought I was gonna get. So I'm gonna try it again elsewhere, and I'm gonna come back with another review for you guys with that one. It wasn't bad. It just the flavor just wasn't there that's it and i don't know if it's because i ordered right before they were about to close or if that's just the way they make theirs kaden stop that jumping yeah what you think mama what you think mama mm. jujus hey jujus yes jujus um yeah but that was pretty much it i'm going to clean up my kitchen and my living room and make the boys some lunch um uh, yeah yeah all right y'all so we are going to i probably look crusty dusted and busted look at my hair oh my gosh that looks horrible um why you let me look like this and that thing. Um, I'm gonna go do my hair. Enough said. I'm gonna go do my hair and I'm gonna come back because she look cute and I look like crap. No, thank you. And mommy still gotta pluck this wig. And I'm pretty sure we are not going to have the time. Because your appointment is in the next hour.
y'all, this is a completely whole new different day. Um, when I took her to her appointment, she got three vaccinations and one oral vaccination. Is that hair? She took it like a champ. She looked at the lady like, girl, don't you know I beat you the fuck up? But um, like I said, this is a whole new day. It's actually date night slash date weekend. Um, having three under three, you know, we're constantly being put left and right from our little ones. So my mom's coming over to stay the night with the kids so that way me and my husband can just go out, get a hotel and just, just you know, be mommy and daddy, be husband and wife, actually, not mommy and daddy, be husband and wife with uninterrupted time because it's long overdue um because this one likes to sleep in a bed and she's always there and they're right they boo okay um so yeah that's the plan today oh i also did my hair so about that i finished in time but not in enough time to get her to her appointment but luckily because she was just getting her vaccinations they were like oh it's cool she doesn't need her wellness checkup because she already had that but yeah you guys will see me get ready later on i don't really know if i want to do my makeup for the massage because i don't want I, my face is gonna be laying on the table i don't want that so i'll probably do it afterwards because we might go out yes we're gonna have a date night tonight you guys will be seeing that Y'all, mm -hmm. having three under three is no joke. I feel like I'm signed to death row. You know, I got a toddler that's going through the no stage. So everything is just, and it's so annoying. It just, I just, I'm like, did I, I'm not asking. I'm not asking. I give my son options, but I'm like, I'm, and this, I'm not asking you. Why do I feel like I'm talking to like a grown ass man right now? Like, that's not what we're doing. And then my one year old, oh my gosh, people will think this is hilarious too. He's in a stage where he likes to take off his pull up, and people are like, "Oh, that's so funny!" Just little booty cheeks. No, 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 no. It's all fun and games until so you realize it was more than pee in the diaper he just took off. I'm so glad I'm a cleanly person, cleanly, clean, whatever the freak. My nerves are rising because I just had to deal with that. I'm so glad I am a clean person, y'all. I don't supposed to be like, oh, well, if you checked on him to make sure he needs to be changed, he wouldn't take it off. Here's the thing, okay? I feed my kids. I check them. First of all, I bathe them first thing in the morning, okay? After I bathe them, new clothes, grease scalps, you know, give them their cup of OJ, apple juice, whatever delectable thing they would like to have first thing in the morning. Make them their breakfast. Let them have independent playtime, right? Watch TV and all that good stuff. I check their diapers again. Because in independent playtime, most of the time, my sons like to go back upstairs in their room because they have their bunk beds in there. They have their slides. All their toys are in there. Who wouldn't want to be in there? Like, their room is fun to be in, and it's comfortable. Um, the living room is the living room. They have toys down there, but they can make a mess of their room, and it's okay. They take all their stuff out. It'll get clean when they take a nap and or at the end of the night. When we get to the point of independent playtime, and I put them upstairs in their room, you know, I give them a snack again. I give them something else to drink. And then I check their pull-ups. I ask Caden, does he need to potty? Even though he says no, I still go sit him on a potty. I still check him to make sure. I don't care if he's damp or whatever. I'm going to change him. Same thing with Cam. Because I understand that nobody wants to sit around in a pull-up. It's when I just check and there's nothing in there. So he does cry. But then again, here's the thing about my son Cameron. He is like the little boy who cried wolf. Okay? He cries about everything. He cries about you not giving him his cup one time. He cries about crying. He cries about... He cries. Okay? He's a cancer. Both of them are cancers. Caden is just the cancer that's more on the mean side. Cammy is the emotional cancer. So Cam's doing his normal crying. But like I said, he just ate. Had a snack. Got changed. Got, and then my son has severe eczema all over his body. He has it bad, but we put this steroid cream that the doctor prescribed, hydrocortisone 10. Um, I think it's like extreme strength because um, it also moisturizes, but it also stops the itch for, I think, like 10 plus hours. And then we put on Eucerin, and it's the very, very rich one. So I lather him. So, and then that's another thing. Oh, I also use the Dove antibacterial soap. And then when I do give Cam a bath, I don't sit him in the warm water for too long because I don't want his skin to dry up. So we get him in there. I let him sit in there for maybe about 10 minutes. After that, we're washing up, 
take him out. I don't like when I dry him off, I don't rub. I pat him down because I don't want to irritate his skin by rubbing. So like I said, I put the Holy Trio on him. Voila, you would think his skin has no eczema whatsoever. Yes, nay, that's my earring. <sighs> See, I lost my train of thought. Oh, no, I'm telling you the routine. So we get to the point of being in the room, right? Like I said, he cries about everything. So I know he's not itching. I know he's not hungry. If anything else, he might be tired because Kim will cry when he's tired, but this is the thing. They're in the room. My two-year-old gets tired. He gets in his bed. He goes to sleep. I don't have to put Caden down for a nap. He'll go to sleep on his own. Most of the time, I try to have them take regular scheduled naps. But in this instance, most of the time, if they're going to take a nap, they're going to take a nap. If not, they're not. I can't force you. I can lead a horse to water, but I can't make him drink. So I let him. They're in the room. And Cammy, same thing. Even though Cammy's one, he's a very intelligent one-year-old. If he gets tired, he knows to go lay down. Okay. So that's not what's wrong with Cameron. Um, I give them mommy time, all three of them, from the time they wake up, from the time they wake up again the next morning. I'm always in mommy mode. I'm always mommy, 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 mommy. What's up, Booski? Yeah. So he's crying. And I'm like, Cammy, stop fussing. And this is how I know nothing is wrong with Cameron. My child, I can, I'm, favorite cartoons, they got Disney Plus in their room, okay? They have all the channels in their room. My child is how I know there's nothing wrong with him. In the middle of watching TV, he'll stop crying. In the middle of anything, he'll just stop crying. If there's actually something wrong with Cam, Cam will, he will cry endlessly, okay? That wasn't the case. He's crying, then he'll stop for five minutes, cry, stop for 10 minutes, cry, stop for a little while, cry again. So I finally get up because my mommy nose kicks in. Yeah, I know it's nap time. My mommy nose kicks in. And I, after I gave birth to Naomi, it has intensified. It's like my hearing and my my like ability to smell has intensified. So hearing, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm dealing with allergies. So if you hear me go in and out of stuffy, this is what it is. Like I said, my mommy nose kicks in, and so I'm like, I smell poop. So I'm holding a, so I know it's not her. I didn't feel her push. I don't, I don't smell it directly up under me. It's in the air. So I just knew it was one of the two. And my heart sinks when I know it's one of the two because I, in the back of my head, Cam took off his pull-up and there's poop everywhere. <sighs> I get up and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that it's a good day and Cam didn't take it off. It's just in his pull-up. Ain't nothing but a wipe and swipe. Clean the boom boom. Put on a pull-up. Put your pants back on. Let him play in his room or lay him down if that's what he wants. I get up and it is a literal Schmidt show. Literal. Just now, I had to grab the Lysol wipes. Grab that 24-hour micro band. I think that's what it's called. That germ spray. The Resolve. My scrub brush. I had to throw it away. It's it. But that's fine. I have like two other ones too. But still. The carpet cleaner and the stuff that comes with the carpet cleaner to clean the carpet. The Lysol spray. Oh, and the carpet freshener. When I tell you just now, I just spent, I don't even know how long, in my kids' room, wiping down everything. I wiped down their beds. I wiped down, which, you know, it's normal to do anyway because germs. I don't want my kids to get sick. But the amount of stuff I just had to wipe down because of my paranoia thinking that it's literally everywhere. Granted, I saw where it was and it was only, honestly, a small spot, basically, where he was. And in my mind, though, because I'm a germaphobe, it was everywhere. I'm wiping down closet doors, their room door, their walls, their bed. Him, I had to throw him in a bath. The way I uh, doused that floor in Resolve, 24-hour microband, and then the carpet cleaner, and then the Lysol. When I say I, I everything in that room, and you know when they say welcome to parenthood? Parenthood is ghetto. Welcome to ghettohood, okay? That's all it is. It's just real ghetto around here. Sometimes I be thinking to myself, why did I sign up for this toxicity? This is the most toxic relationship I've ever been in. This weekend is needed. I'll see you guys at the massage parlor. Okay. Parlor. I sound really old saying I feel like my name was supposed to be like Laureline or Dolores or some crap just then. But I'll see you guys when I go get my massage. Okay. Yeah. You get girl suit. So I normally bring my camera, but today I didn't want to because it's really bulky and I just wanted to go ahead and do what I need to do. But I'm 
at the place now and I am chilling. It's so nice and calm in here, but I'm not going to have my phone popped up the whole time. I'll do what I can do um, as far as my massage goes. I'll let you guys see some of the things, but not everything. I'll massage the room. Massage the room. I'll show you guys the room and everything else. Oh, I got my nails too, guys. I'm going to try to put this on in a second. This is why I'm about to put this camera down and chill out. But, Mm -hmm. It's massage envy and it's hexing in the court news. I like my shoes. But yeah, I'm about to put on my nails and chill out. So give me one second. I'm gonna show you guys my nails afterwards. Yeah, I completely omitted everything else in the daggone um video that I was supposed to do because I was just enjoying myself. I really needed that massage. But we are in our room. There's no need for a, a room view because it's pretty simple. Just us tonight. Me and my husband. And some much needed husband and wife time. But I gotta get dressed. So I will see you guys when I'm done. woke up the next morning and we went and got Starbucks. Honestly, I didn't record anything else from the rest of the night because it's rare that my husband and I get uninterrupted time together, especially considering the fact that we have three under three. So I was grateful that my mom spent the night that weekend for us to even go do so. So we just wanted to indulge in each other that night and we went to go see Creed 3. So if you haven't seen that movie, you should definitely go check it out. I also drug him into Ulta Beauty with me just to pick up a few more products because why not? It was right there and I picked up some products that were pretty pretty good for oily skin and i'm pretty sure i already posted a video on it so if you're interested to see how it turned out make sure you look at one of my recent videos other than that we had a great night came home spent the time with the kids and honestly i think we even went out to eat with the kids that night but yeah we had a great night and i was really appreciative to the fact that we were able to get that time together i definitely feel like you should never stop courting or dating your spouse even when you get married i promise you it'll keep the flame growing but thank you guys for tuning in make sure you guys like comment and subscribe of course thank you for watching and let me know if you want to see more videos like these see you later